hello dudes and dudettes welcome back to logan's life and today is saturday march 24th 2018 and we have a surprise for you But unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait until the end of the vlog when we get back home because the surprise is at home. at the one by our house but this is a different location so it's still you, Burlington. you know you can find different things at different locations and we already have because we see some things here they didn't have at the other store so we're gonna look around here probably go to Pizza Hut because it's right up the way I'm loving this necklace though mm, she's loving a necklace though still mocking I didn't I said you're loving a necklace though I think this one is cute Oh, that's like popping me though. And then nice bracelet. Anyway, I have too many bracelets. So yeah, we're just looking here, trying to get hungrier so we can go over to Pizza Hut and grab our pizza on Saturday. And then um oh I gotta stop at Target to pick something out up that deals with the surprise, which Target is next door. So we'll be going there just for a brief moment and then over to Pizza Hut. And then we'll go home and show you our big surprise. You're gonna love it. I did that. Yeah, holy shit. Did you all ever go to Burlington or do you have a Burlington? Because you get stuff much cheaper than you do at regular stores. Yeah, we're just looking here at skin stuff. $10 for this thing that you're supposed to be rubbing your teeth. A little polish. Yeah. We got some of this yesterday. Some pillow spray. 
I used mine last night. You didn't use your pillow spray last night. Nine dollars for this. Primer and setting. Yeah. And you think I need to get some eye wrinkle cream stuff? My eyes look wrinkled too. Hmm? I need something for my dark circles. Yeah, but you're only 17 and a half. Yeah, and I have dark circles. I need more sleep. So we're just looking at all this stuff just to see if we can find a good deal. St. Ives scrub. Look at these nails. I am. I've been putting it off because we're singing in four services at church, and um, I want to wait closer. Your nails for? Look at my nails. It's naked. No, how many nails? It's naked. We're singing on Easter, and I just wanted to wait closer to the time and get it done because it's too soon. That looks bad. Hey guys, so here we are at Pizza Hut now. We just got our food and don't freak out by all this pizza. A member of the Florida House of Representatives, Dick Bachelor, said he's encouraged by the outpouring coming from students following the tragedy one. of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. A special. He credited their and number two. for helping get the gun law passed and Lunch for tomorrow. lawmakers to rethink That's their stances the on current gun laws. Bachelor said it was so almost yeah, a perfect storm for the legislator in session for the students to pressure um, lawmakers into a meeting. He's got a action. couple things, not a lot. No, Meanwhile, the commander in chief has been yeah, silent on Twitter regarding yeah, the March for Our Lives. The only home, thing show your surprise. Trump and was condolences for the victims of the after that, market maybe, attack uh, in France. President Trump is here at Fort of the Weekend at his West Palm Beach Golf Club. Former President Barack Obama said that Michelle and I are so inspired by all the young people who made today's marches happen. Keep at it. You're leading us forward. I know it's false. Well, not lately, but there's a reason. So. More than 800 events Anyhow, happening Saturday uh, nationwide. Go ahead and start on this pizza. Oh, and then find more we'll coverage online we will, uh, right now at our website. Come here. Hello. Hello. Come here. Hello. Hello. So we are back home and we are about ready to show you our surprise. Nice. It's baby girl. It's a baby girl. That's the surprise. Look at this. She oh. wants. What food? She wants Romeo's food. You can't have your brother's food, Miss Lady. Come here. But she can't jump on the couch because she's too small. This is our eight-week-old golden retriever. Her name is Juliet. <laughs> She's going crazy because of the food. Remy, you should have ate your food because now she wants your food. The baby girl. Say hi, baby girl. Here, now they hold her because I don't even know if she's on the camera. Probably was. She's smelling Romeo's poopy. You Say nasty. Hi. Say, my name is Juju. Juliet. Because we have Romeo, so we have to have Juliet too. And she says, I'm just a little baby. Say boo. <laughs> this is our big surprise. We get a puppy. This is what he thinks of his new sister. I don't like her. Say hi. Say hi, Juliet. Say hi, Julie. Julie. Where's Julie? Hey Julie. Hey Julie. Oh gosh, she's getting happy now. Say hi. Say hi. So yeah. He's in love of me. Well, we love Romeo. Oh, he's telling about what he thinks about her. He's he said she's the most annoying thing I ever met in my life. He's trying to get used to her. He's been here for a year by himself. So, he's trying hey, to get babies. used to her. He is still trying to get his blood food. But, 
my house is a mess right now because I'm trying to incorporate puppies with the cat. So on a Wednesday we went to the pet store like we do occasionally and we went to play with the dogs at the pet store and somehow that happened that day. So go figure I should have knew it would happen eventually. So we went and played with her at the pet store and then ended up getting her. And, um, I did do a video on my phone of Romeo meeting her because I took him up there to see how he would react to the dog and how she would react to him. So I will try to upload that from my phone to the YouTube. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll try so you can see the first impressions of the two animals meeting together. But yeah, so like I said, she was born January 20th. And she is just a little over eight weeks old. Um, so we've had her here since Wednesday night. And she's doing pretty good. She's been using the bathroom outside pretty often. Um, still goes in the house, of course. And it's only because she drinks so much water. So she had a vet appointment today. That's why I couldn't film the video until we got to church because we were running late because we had to take her to the vet today for her first appointment. Mm -hmm. So the vet said that she's in good shape, she's healthy, and that she weighs 11.8 pounds. So she's tiny still, um, but she should get to be about 45, 50 pounds because she's a golden retriever. So she's um doing well we first named her bell and then um we changed it because i am not getting any more pets and um we thought the romeo and juliet thing was pretty good so we changed it to juliet just today um so we can call her julie or juju um so it's we got romeo and juliet now so cat and a dog so yeah, um, Romeo's checking out this fountain because he's not used Stop to it. it. What's that fountain, Romeo? Get a drink. Get a drink. Mom, look at this dog. It's just as of Romeo's food. See, I've been putting it up here because she wants to eat his food. Look now, you can't take bad habits from your brother. And that is climbing up on this and then getting onto the counter right there. <laughs> I've been putting all Romeo stuff here because um, I was hoping, I didn't think she could get to that point, but apparently she can if you put her on the, on the couch. Get down, get down girl, get down. But yeah, so. Like I said, she's doing well. She um, is doing well with potty breaking. Juliet, you need to go eat your food. You need to go eat your food, baby. I'm not leaving it out all, all the time like I do rummies. You gotta go eat it. You gotta go eat it, peepees. Come on, Rummy. You're just gonna have to get on the counter, even though I tell you not to, but. Then we're going to get your stuff. Romeo. Romeo. Here's your food. So anyway, it was really interesting how we came to get her. Um, you know, of course, I found out that there was golden retrievers at the pet store because they show them online. So I told Allie, she goes, Mom, we're going to go see them. So we went up there Wednesday and we looked inside the, the crates and seen which one was cutest. So she happened to be a girl, even though we normally would pick boys. So um, they brought her to a little room for us to play with her and immediately she claimed us she wait she's trying to climb up this couch and she did it she um was wagging her tail like crazy she was um 
licking us all over our face and our ears and everything and she was just so happy and excited with us that we couldn't we couldn't leave her <laughs> so so yeah that's a baby girl that's a baby girl so yeah she's a baby girl but yep so that's how we ended up with her because she it's her personality look where she is now she's on the counter she thinks her brother just trying to get his food she loves cat food all right that's it i'm moving it would you get off the counter you can't have his food why she was going nuts like it was some kind of uh prized possession with his food. You better hurry up and eat this because she's not going to keep it. <sighs> Look. She came over and tried to snatch it from him. You need to get your your baby because she won't let Romeo have his food. She has dry food so go figure his is wet food. So she wants his food. And she already claimed one of Romeo's toys too. But Romeo wasn't playing with this particular toy anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, she's taking all his stuff. So at Burlington I got her a present, but I'm waiting for her to finish eating. And I'll give it to her. Um, my granddaughter's gonna love it, but it's for the baby. Um, it is her own pillow. It's Hello Kitty and it's a pillow for her to lay on because she likes to lay on the chair and on the, the sofa. So we have Max's old crate right there. We're stuck in it. What? What do you want? And um She's been sleeping at night. She does really good in the crate. So I got a a gate. I'm gonna start gating her in here until she's potty trained, and then put her in the crate at night. The pet store gave us just gigantic crates, and it's too big. It's for over a hundred pound dogs. She's not gonna be that big, but she will be bigger. All right, baby, you're not gonna be over a hundred pounds, are ya? Yeah, you're just going to be about 45 or 50 pounds, aren't you? <coughs> yeah. See, she's a little lover. Look at this. Look at this. See her? She tries to take my earrings off. Stinky baby breath. Stinky baby breath. He's stinky baby breath. He's a stinky baby breath, baby. Aren't you a stinky baby breath? Yep. So we got this, uh, this bell's hanging here. So we potty train her and then she's got the leash, but I've been having her half on, half off the leash. I want her to know how to use it, but our, our yard is fenced so she doesn't have to use it every time she goes outside and I got her some of these milk bones for treats when she goes potty outside what are you smell? what are you smelling? hey woohoo woohoo so yeah that is our new baby she needs to finish eating so we can take her out again and then I'll give her her pillow but right now she needs to finish eating. Go ahead and finish your food, baby. So she's drinking more water again. <sighs> That's our surprise. Um, and yeah, it should be interesting. A cat and a dog. Imagine that. I haven't had two pets. Like, probably not ever. But now I do. Okay, so I'm back. She peed on the floor, but then I took her out and she pooped outside. Now she's trying to get her brother who doesn't want to be bothered. 
Right, Romy? You don't want to be bothered with her. No. Ah! Quiet, quiet, quiet. And then there's her pillow. I gave it to her. She just chewed on it for a second. She's worried about Romeo. There she goes with her toys over there. She got a whole bunch of new toys, but she likes Romeo's toys. So those are Romeo's toys up there in the corner so she can't get to them. Oh no, she rode over. Chicken, chicken, chicken everywhere. Chicken, chicken everywhere. Come on, buddy. <laughs> She's rolling over and trying to get that thing. Now what are you chewing on? Oh, I'm just trying to get away. <laughs> I gotta put his food up there <laughs> so he can get it. Cause she tries to eat his stuff. Where are you going? She takes one piece at a time to eat her food. So yeah. Anyway, it's 11.30. Um, I gotta take the makeup off and change and see if Ellie wants to watch something. Um, we've been hooked on this Sims game on our tablets lately. And um, I'm sure you know about the Sims, but I haven't played it in a really long time and now I got addicted to it again. Ellie's playing hers right now. Which basically is like this. Oops. She has two kids on her game. But the other kid is probably outside. Oh, outside? You like your kid unattended outside? Look, yeah, my daughter and my son. Oh gosh, they're both toddlers, you poor thing. <laughs> Yep. So that's the Sims. We got it on Apple tablets, but we're hooked on that now. And I haven't played it all day, so because of church and everything. And then we went to Burlington and Pizza Hut, and now we're here again. So like I said, I'm probably gonna change. Well, I know I'm gonna change. And she's she's <laughs> playing with that, but um. Yeah, I wanted to show you our new puppy, so stay tuned for future videos because now we're going to have a dog and a cat in our future videos. So I hope you enjoy. Can't have little baby human babies, so we got little animal babies to show you. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go here, and as always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Say bye, baby. Say bye. Wanna put a hole in your pillow? She's having fun because she's out of her crate. <laughs> so she's enjoying herself. Say bye, babies. So say bye, YouTube. He said, why should I say bye? We could just see my cute face. <laughs> oh no, she got the cord for the camera. Say bye, babies. Oh.